the core problem these days is uncertainty. When I lost Bev, I had, certainly there was uncertainty of where I was going and what was going to happen, but there was a direction to follow. You could make steps, you could go forward. There, uh, you could make changes in your life that would lead you to being able to cope. Um, when I had breast cancer, there was uncertainty as to whether I su would survive, but there were steps to take. There were tests to do. There was a, a whole year of radiation and chemo and everything else, but each step would lead me to fighting the fight. COVID came along and destroyed all of the pillars that I had put into place in order to survive. Uh, there was no beginning, there was no end, you couldn't fight it, you didn't know what was going on, you didn't know, it just felt like everything was falling apart. And in some ways it has. Um, getting through it was the having to accept the fact that life wasn't going to go back to normal. And that even if you didn't know what was going to happen in a year's time, in two years time, or in 10 years time, just getting through each day became the goal. Uh, let's not dwell on the fact that we're isolated and we don't know if we're going to get it. And um, it, you just had to, okay, let's just do today. Let's go for a walk. Let's um, read a book, do something. They're small goals, but they take you to a little, it, it takes you out of the fear, out of the um, loss of control. It gives you even just small things, give you that sense of control again. Um, and and uh, so that, that basically what I'm fighting now and what I think everybody is fighting, an uncertain future, but okay, I'm going to live today. I'm going to do it today. Uh, and we'll let tomorrow be what it is. We'll wait until we find out what we're dealing with or what new, new problems are going to pop up. But you just take, you just go back to the beginning. You just go back to the beginning. 